How do you go about finding your spots in the swim? So, I'll get my lead and rod. Oh, yes, it's spot and rod, just put a, you can start with a heavy lead, four, maybe five ounces. Yeah. I'm fishing up to the margins like I'm on this trip. I'll walk up the margins and I'll bounce it around. Wait right first, look at the pressure that's in the ground, and you can see that. If I wind my rod tip to the water's edge, yeah, yeah. you can see it's a little bit deeper, and the rod tip going down, and it comes a bit firmer. That's the way I'll look at my weight. Yeah, I just, just, just sort of jump in there. I, I think these depressions are where the calf feeding. I yeah, think that's where they're cleaning off the spots. 100%. Yeah, I think and that's why, you know, when you ask me as the fishery owner where the best spot in the swim is, I can't tell you. And unless I've got that lead yeah. and, I'm, and I'm feeling around the swim, I can't tell you. So, yeah. yeah so when, I, when I found the firmer area, then I'll change to a grappling lead and put my prongs on it. And then I'll just get a few little drags through the end and go up and see what's on it. And actually, to my benefit this session, I've done that a couple of times. I've brought blood worm up. So they've obviously made that depression there, mm. found that blood worm's there. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, well done. I mean, I've really noticed that with you. Actually, you do spend a lot of time, quite meticulous, in that spot finding. So, you know, I think that's a really great tip. Thanks for that. No good luck tonight. All right, so I come across the rig on the floor earlier, about five inches long, just a simple knot that's not. Um, for me, casting one of those out into here with quite a lot of seal is a no-no, unless the carp are really grubbing around in that seal. You, apart from that, you're not going to get many bites on it. So you need to be fishing a longer hook link, I feel, and just a little pop-up, just to get the, the interest in the carp in a swimming pipe to get the opportunity for a bite. Yeah, yeah I, I get that. That makes a lot of sense to me. So by having your bait visible and above the seal, you're catching those uh, opportunities to opportunistic carp that aren't really feeding their heads off. No, that's it, and it's more than using your bait more as a lure than rather than like a, like a, a food for them. Awesome. Thanks, mate.